I really want to put the three macaws and Rocco outside at my parents' house in the apiaries. But the trouble is catching Rocco to get him to go outside in the aviary. So this is my first attempt. If I can get him, he'll go. If not, another day I shall try. Hey, Rocco. Not up to anything, bud. He knows. He knows I'm up to stuff. These are cool pellets you yeah, have, bud. Cool pellets. I use a 60-40 rule to your advantage. <laughs> Here. Hey, buddy. Thank you. I don't think I was going to have success by myself. Uh, Got to bring his fruit, his waters. Rufus, you wrap us outside. Next, I'm grabbing the macaws. Holy. Oh, my gosh. I am so low on bird food. I just figured it out. I'm going to show you guys. This is my frozen stash. This is my stash. I have to make bird food. Oh man. Rocco, you excited to go to the aviary? I'm wick, that's what I am. Okay, it's a short drive. Think we got everything? Yeah. Mm, I just realized I forgot toys. No. <laughs> All right, well. 
will have a sunshine to play with. Ah. Woo! Luckily, the drive to the aviaries is only about five minutes. We're here. Oh, Comet, you with us? Spacing out. There you are. All right. Oh my gosh, I've never noticed. Is he getting darker with the green? I don't think so. It might just be because he's coming off of winter, right? No, he looks like, I mean, when I first walked up, yeah. he didn't look that dark. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi. You been a good boy? All right. Aviary time. You want to show me what needs help with the aviaries before I put them in? Man. What are you wearing? Did you bring birds out to the property? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, because I didn't know if I'd be able to get him in these. Okay, we'll fix it. So every year, the aviaries go through a winter and, well, they go through all the seasons and everything settles and moves. And so opening and closing the doors is really hard. Now we've laid down that really thick fabric you use for um, keeping weeds away for plants and stuff. And then the aviaries aren't ready yet. I only got one ready, it's Rocco's. Well, these guys are super impatient. Okay, well, maybe you can put them on. You could just put them here and they can watch me work. Will you grab me Rocco? Uh, Thank you. So anyways, I have to rake them out, re-staple everything, because I staple those things, the fabric down, and just re, just move everything around so that the doors open and close well. So the only one that I've done so far is Rocco's aviary. And he's really particular. My mom over the years has learned that he loves this aviary. So instead of rotating we usually rotate all the birds but Rocco apparently doesn't appreciate the rotation he just wants to be in this one so we're going to do that and we rotate everyone else mm. how's that gonna work i was just trying to figure that out <laughs> i only got this side <laughs> didn't know i'd have to open the other side to make it work let's try this rock star Do a two cam free flight video. Just kidding. Oh, look where you are. Yay! No, I haven't actually put your food in yet. Oh, you shafted. I didn't get that far. Gosh, how do I do this? Look hey, buddy. Jamie inside the human Rubik's Cube. I could just fix this one. Cages, courtesy of Cages by Design. Total freedom with his buddy. And he literally just put himself away. Is this the one you want, dude? We haven't got toys set up yet or anything. It's so funny. It's like, I want this one. Hello. Hello. What about you, dude? Hello. He doesn't want to say hello. Who? Come on. Hello. See the. Oh, spacing out. Stables are still ah. in here. Just All right, so I'm just gonna let you guys watch what I do. Tusa put himself away, but Let's see, I don't know where to set my phone. I guess I'll set it over here. But basically, I'm just gonna give everybody what they need, put everyone away. There we go. Come on, what are you doing?
What's he, Naco? Hi. Capri and Dave. So Rocco's over here, Jinx is back there, Tusa here, Comet there. Showing you guys the outside of the aviaries. So it's basically within my mom's garden. So this started as aviaries and then she built a garden around it, which is really cool. So once her grapes grow, then she has grape vines going all the way around. It's really, really pretty. So these are the four aviaries we have out here and they are on five acres out here. So it's really nice because all the houses are five to 10 acre minimums. So they don't get any neighbor complaints out here, which is amazing. So that's why we keep our birds out here. Also, we have always traveled and my parents are the only consistent. So since they don't move, we put aviaries here before we ever put them anywhere else. And just knowing that I want my parents to watch the birds if we need to go anywhere. So we just have the four out here. And then we have the four at our house outside, and then we have the four inside at our house. 